Hey everybody, it's Tanya Tomic. This is my day three movie for 31 days, and it is Don't Breathe 2. Um, Don't Breathe 2 is um, a movie that I really, really enjoyed. I, I really liked this one. Um, I actually saw it at the drive-in. We went to see Venom 2, <clears throat> and, um, I'll, and I will spare my group um, <laughs> the review of Venom 2. Um, for 31 days and um I will review Don't Breathe 2 instead <laughs> um but yeah I really enjoyed Don't Breathe 2 it was um bigger and better than the first but um in but also like the the script was just really well done I thought the script was really well done the first movie Don't Breathe I enjoyed I thought it was a fun sort of cat and mouse um thriller suspense tension thing and <clears throat> I did enjoy it while watching but didn't feel the need to um you know revisit it and I'm and entertained while watching um kind of film but for me um but don't breathe too I wasn't even gonna go see it in the theaters I only saw it because it was the double feature second film but I am so glad I did um this film was um had that cat and mouse stuff going on and it um also had a lot of action and action sequences which i also enjoy and it had um an emotional con complex emotional content as well that was uh, multi-layered and um you know just gave you something a little bit more meaty to chew on um <clears throat> the performances were great the movie is about if you don't know it's about um you know the blind veteran lives in this house and he now is living with a young girl who he's sort of teaching survival skills to and there's a lot of questions at the beginning and the thing is the movie never panders to the audience and never holds your hand and tells you um what's going on it just unfolds as the story goes along um there were a few um, like hokey foreshadowing moments or there was one that stands out to me however I totally understand why they did it the way they did because it was important to tell that and it was I don't know how else they could have done it um, <clears throat> so you know it wasn't a perfect film but it, in a lot of ways for me it was it is a tight film I think and um, yeah I just really enjoyed it um, we get to see the veteran character played by Stephen Lang, we get to see him in a different way. Sort of like, um, you know, the first movie is like someone you know at work. It's like the work style of them. And then <clears throat> this this movie is seeing them through a different view, through a different lens. And like them at home, the veteran at home, <laughs> um, you know, as if you know someone at work and you know someone at home, you know those two different versions of the person but they're the same person it was like that in this film which I thought was so well done you know we see the first movie how he is we see the second movie it's a different lens although he is the same character and um but really well done so we get to see another side of him that does still ring true um the young girl was um played by Madeline Grace and she it just nailed it she was so good um, I bought these characters 100% the whole way through. Um, there are some, you know, you know, weird moments too, you know, like horror -y moments and um, some unsavory characters, um, characters that are, um, you know, not your average, but they still ring true um, for the most part. Um, <clears throat> any issues this movie might have, I feel like don't matter because the story was so tight, told so well, and by the time you get to the end, by the time I got to the end, I was really enjoying it. it to me, it had sort of a, I mean, the action was so good. It sort of reminded me of Rambo, and it kind of had this Rambo meets John Wick sort of thing, but like the first John Wick and not, you know, when the world opens up and there's this whole other thing, but you know, <clears throat> the simple story aspect of it. So I really enjoyed that. I think if you liked the first one, if you like um, action movies with a little bit of weird horror stuff, um, <clears throat> I think you will definitely like this and I think you should definitely see it. Um, I recommend this one very highly. Um, 
stay tuned for my next, I don't know what my next film is going to be, but stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching.